So I'm gonna show you how to make fish food that has medicine in it. Um, this is a technique that I developed using confectioner's glaze. It makes the antibiotic or medicine stay on the food and I'll show you every step. These are the antibiotics. I'm gonna crush these up to put in the food. This or this is what I'm gonna to use to crush the food up with. This is red food coloring. It makes the medicated food look and taste great and you can tell that the fish have gotten the medicine. This is confectioner's glaze. This is what makes the antibiotic stick on the medicated food. This is the medicated food. You can use any food. I'm using this one because this is what the subject fish we're treating are used to eating. Whether or not it's a great food isn't the point in this video. When I first came up with this method, I was doing it in bowls and on paper plates. And then somebody came along and showed me, hey, uh, you could probably do the whole thing in a big plastic bag. The uh, antibiotic is in the plastic bag. It's time to start crushing. to use a freezer bag for this because any other bag would probably just get pulverized in the process. This bag took a beating. I might not even want to use it to mix the food in. A word of caution, some of these antibiotics that you mash up are uh, not very safe for human inhalation. Find out, depending on the antibiotic that you're using, whether or not you need to have any special, special handling precautions. Mixed up the antibiotic and the food in the bag, and now I'm going to make it stick. All mixed up. The uh, colorful part. It's red and medicated and delicious. And if you wanted to put a drop of pineapple flavoring in, you could. I think the question sometimes comes up, uh, well, aren't there a lot of antibiotics stuck to the inside of the bag? And I think the answer to that would be, yeah. Um, however, the inside of the bag has far less surface area than the millions of square inches of surface area on the food. So all we can do is just hope that uh, there is more antibiotic stuck on the massive surface area of the food than there is on the inside of the bag. If you wanted to, what you could do is take uh, the food out of the bag and then put clean food in the bag to pick up more of what's inside the bag. Spread out on Aluminum foil or wax paper. I like wax paper quite a bit too. But spread out on aluminum foil to dry for the afternoon. And uh, four hours usually does it. It can be still a little bit tacky when you put it back in the bag. I'm going to put it right back in that bag so I don't lose any more um, antibiotic goodness. And uh, so it's spread out on aluminum foil. Otherwise, it would be a permanent part of my counter.